In this clip, we will look at how to create a new report in the Mastercizer 3000 software. This will cover the different items or widgets that you can add to reports and how you can configure the report to look the way you want it to. We start in the main software view and in the report section, click on new report. We can start by giving the report a title and here we're going to create a report for analyzing soil samples. We can then add items or widgets to the report and we can choose the format and the size of these widgets. Here I'm adding one widget which is the whole width of the report. And by clicking on the plus icon I can choose what type of widget to add. Here I'm going to add a result graph. And I can adjust the height of the graph to suit my report. Next I'll add a group of three widgets and I can choose what type of widget to put in each box. There is a filter to help you choose what type of widget to add. And here I want to put in a table, so I've filtered for tables. And I've selected a table output calculation, as I want to add a custom table with specific soil classifications on it, which I can do by going to Edit and loading the previously defined code. I can then adjust the height of the widget so that the table fits nicely into the space. In the box below I want to add a text widget, so I'll now filter for text and add a custom calculation widget. I can then load the pre-installed custom calculation for soil texture. And finally in this group I'll add a picture. So I'm going to remove all of those filters to show all of the widgets and I can then insert a picture. I can then click on that to browse to the location and add the image that I want. In this case what I'm going to add is the soil texture triangle so that I can see where the results of my calculation lie. And again I can adjust the height of these items. Finally, I'm going to add a result table. And because I'm using this report for soils, I'll configure the table using the pencil icon to use fire units. So once I'm happy with the layout of my report and the height of all the items, I can also change the default company name from Marvel Instruments to whatever I want. I can also change the logo that will be used in the top right hand corner of the report when it's printed out. And when I'm happy with the report I can click on finish editing, save the changes to the report. And you can also use the print preview function to make sure that the printed report looks the way you want it to as well.